Hello everybody, Corey here. We're going to go over the over Ulti in this video. Just a reminder, I'm not a qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. I am just gathering the information and presenting it to you so you can make your own decisions and form your own opinions. Just a reminder, Yield Max ETFs are extremely risky. They identify all these risks on their website and they define them. Um, please make sure you know what you're investing in before doing so. And know that yield max ETFs are considered income and not growth ETFs. All right, so we'll go to our daily tab here. Um, and we have all the same tickers that we had before. I have them in alphabetical order. Let me zoom out just a little bit. There you go. So you can see them all on the same page. Um, I'm not really going to go in depth on any of those. They have not changed sort this by IV. We can see currently our highest IV is Novavax, 118%, and then we still have Celsius there at 48%. Um, I don't know about outstanding shares here. So our outstanding shares have not changed today. Um, so we did, we were going up there for a while, but, um, but anyway, so, uh, I'm going to move this over just a little bit here. I'm sorry, this might be a little bit small uh, for those of you on your phone. If if you're having any issues, just let me know and I will um, just zoom in better and then I'll just do half of the ETFs at a time. I know I normally do it up and down when I did it as separate videos. But uh, anyway, we have Ulti here. It dropped, uh, looks like about 11 cents, which is 0.75%, while the S&P was down 0.27% today. Um, and let's look at our stocks. Okay. So we had a few up there, but mo majority were down here. Uh, so we have CGC down 7%, Affirm and AI, or C3 AI down 5%, and Reddit down 4 And then we have Zim was up 4 Novavax was up 5 and B. Riley was up 6% today. If we look over here at Net Assets, I forget about that, hold on, there we go. We have Net Assets here, looks like we're averaging around 90 uh, I'm sorry about 79 cents a share there um, around six or six point one million dollars there so not too much of a difference um, what was the 20th I can't remember here I don't remember if the outstanding shares had changed or not it did not since Monday so here we were about 81 cent average or 6.2 million. So we are down a little bit from Monday. All right, let's move on to the holdings. So there were, let's make sure, yeah, there were no trades today. Um, hmm. Just notice that the formatting is not here. All the format stuff is gone. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do because on my computer, all the formatting is there. So I apologize. Um, since we are dealing with short calls, if it's a negative on here, it is red. And if it's positive, it is green. I know when we had the synthetics, uh, we had some opposites only because of... Uh, the colors didn't necessarily match if it was a positive or negative. So anyway, but here, uh, a positive is green and a negative is red since we don't have the colors showing up on here for some reason. But anyway, let's go through our short calls, which isn't... Usually I have those in blue, making those easier, but I think we'll be okay. Um, look in the right-hand column just to see... So Novavax is bringing the stock price down five cents a share. Um, but other than that, there's not any significant uh, data 
in the column AP is where I was looking. I apologize. <clears throat> Again, uh, I probably could even hide that column. I don't know. It meant more when we had synthetic positions. Um, but anyway, so we'll go into a firm here. We have a sh all of our short calls. They expire on Friday. We do have the stocks and short calls. We do not have any synthetic positions here. So a firm straight price is $35. We are underneath that by 13%. Uh, and the stock dropped by 5% today. So since you can't see the color codes, and just to make sure um, you understand that the stock price in this case, because we're looking at short calls, that we want the stock price to be underneath the... Um, sorry, I just thought of something. No, I should say, well, I could just make them all green, but we do have one red there. Um but we want the stock price to be underneath the strike price. And in this case, you can see um, the $35 strike and we were at thirty sixty one. So being below that strike price, 13% is a good thing. So you would have seen that as green. Um, and then of course the stock itself was down 5%. Uh, so that would have been red there. But anyway, we'll move on to C3 AI. $27.50 strike price. We are underneath that by 10% and the stock dropped 5%. We have Celsius with a strike price of $100 and we are underneath that by 7% and the stock dropped 3% today. And actually, I remember doing this last night now. It's the first time, so, well, in a long time that I've added these together, but uh, we already went over the stock prices changes Um on the day, I'm sorry, on the daily tab. So here, I'll just look at the strike prices and where we're at. So anyway, we have CGC here with uh, $11.50 $11 strike price. We're underneath that by 18%. Um, Clean Spark, $19 strike price. We're underneath that by 3%. Carvana, $129 strike price, under it by 10%. And Lyft, $17 strike price. We're underneath that by 5%. Mara, $24 strike price, under it 12%. Micro Strategy, $1,825 strike price. We're underneath that by 10%. Novavax here uh, is the only one on here that is actually red. So we have a fifteen fifty dollars strike price. Uh, we are over that strike price by 1%, by $0.20 cents at fifteen seventy, And the stock ended up coming up 5% today. So that's the only one that's actually over the strike price at this point. Uh, and then we have Reddit with a $66 strike. We're underneath that by 14%. B. Riley, $33 strike price. We're underneath that by 3%. SMCI, $980 strike price. We're under that 11%. SRPT, uh, which is a therapeutics company, $140. We're underneath that by 8%. Upstart, Strike price twenty eight dollars under it thirteen percent, Viking Therapeutics seventy four dollars strike under it fifteen percent, and Zim Shipping twenty one dollars strike price, and we're underneath that by nine percent. Um, so we did end up being red, uh, and going down throughout the day. However, uh, in case you didn't know, which I think everybody knows at this point, uh, NVIDIA uh, skyrocketed after earnings and even till 8 o'clock uh, at close. So there is a possibility that the market could be green tomorrow just because of NVIDIA itself. Uh, I don't know, but it is possible. So these stocks have did go down today, but they could come up um, tomorrow or the next couple of days for this week. So just to put that out there. But anyway, um, yep, that's it for Alti. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll talk with you later. Thanks. Bye.